Welcome back to another episode of The Tip Share. This week, we're going to cover restaurant sales forecasts with POS data. As a restaurant operator, you know that a modern point of sale solution generates tons of data. The question is, how do you use that data to materially improve restaurant operations? One of the best applications for POS data is as a tool to make more accurate restaurant sales forecasts. Database sales forecasts can give you a degree of precision that was previously out of reach, as well as set you up better to allocate staff shifts, improve your COGS control, and instill a culture of financial responsibility in your management team. The benefits we just listed are earned from having access to properly contextualized POS data in a place that you consistently check. The ideal solution is not to try to manage your restaurant directly through your POS, but rather to integrate your POS data into a comprehensive system like a restaurant management software suite. At Rousey, we offer an easy data integration of all the leading POS systems, transferring your POS data into the same unified software that you utilize for payroll, accounting, financial goal setting, and tracking. When running a restaurant, it's critical that you're able to estimate your revenue ahead of time. This type of estimation is commonly called a sales forecast. A basic restaurant sales forecast enables you to set your food and labor expenditures at the appropriate levels to maintain a target profit margin. As an example of forecasting for your restaurant, you might know that you are consistently exceeding last year's monthly sales by 10%, and that last year, in the month of March, you sold $120,000 in food and beverage. Your forecast for this March is therefore 110% of that $120,000, all for a total of $132,000. The formula here is we're taking that $120,000, multiplying it by that 110%, 1.1, equaling $132,000. You might be asking, what are some common techniques for restaurant sales forecasting? Forecasting for restaurants has multiple valid approaches, each unique to an operator's unique needs and preferences. Throughout the next handful of slides, we'll review how to make an accurate sales forecast for your restaurant using several of those most common techniques. Calculate your restaurant's daily capacity. One of the simplest approaches to forecasting is to estimate your restaurant's capacity. That is, if you have a great night of business in which all your tables are used to the max, how much money would you make? You can answer that question with the following formula. The number of tables multiplied by the number of seats, multiplied by the number of turns, multiplied by the average ticket price. This is going to give you your daily restaurant capacity. For example, Let's say you have 20 tables. Each of those tables has four seats and turn each table two times a night. That means your restaurant can serve up to 160 patrons per night. Then let's suppose your average ticket is $20. Your restaurant's daily capacity is that $20 times that 160, giving you a grand total of $3,200. On your best night, you could make that much in sales. So now that we know our daily capacity, it's easy to turn this into a weekly sales forecast by assigning a capacity percentage to each night of the week that we're open. Let's continue on with the example that we just went over. You estimate based on the observation that you operate at a 50% capacity on Wednesday, 70% on Thursday, 90% on Friday and Saturday, and 70% on Sunday. Now that we have a capacity estimate for each day of the week, we can plug this into our formula and your weekly sales forecast then becomes something that looks like this. We're taking each night of the week's percentage and multiplying it by that $3,200 that we got in the beginning. This is going to all lead us to $11,840. In a typical week, you could expect to make that much money. The next technique is seasonal projections. If you're like most restaurants, your monthly sales is apt to display strong seasonality. That means sales will vary significantly based on the time of year and the weather. To achieve accurate sales forecasting, 
You should therefore take into account data from a similar period that happened in the past. A simple approach to seasonal projections is to always compare the current month to the previous year's month or an average of the last five years. For example, you could forecast for March 2022 based on March 2021. By establishing your forecasting of the same month in the prior years, you capture seasonal variables such as people's propensity to eat out when the temperatures begin warming. The next technique that we're going to look at is week over week and period on period. Similar to the month over month approach described before, you may choose to define your comparative sales period as a rolling average of the last 90 days, the last 30 days, or simply the last week. It's really going to be up to you how granular you want to make your forecasting period. But do be aware that if you choose shorter periods, such as basing your sales for forecasting on the last 30 days, you may be quite surprised by seasonal trends. August sales may not be a great guide to September sales if the customer's behavior changes as the season changes. Just something to note when you're thinking of week over week and period on period. The final and most technologically advanced approach to sales forecasting is taking advantage of the wealth of data available from a modern point of sale software, also known as Restaurant POS Analytics. At Razzy, we seamlessly transfer POS data directly into our integrated software suite, culminating in restaurant operators' financial reporting and accounting metrics. This data transfer enables forecasting on a detailed level without the tedious manual data entry and allows you to capture quickly moving trends. For instance, POS data could tell you that you have a new hit dish on your hands or that a new large group has made your restaurant their weekly meetup location. This information you'd be unlikely to capture and incorporate into manual sales forecasting. So how does POS data make restaurant sales forecasting better? As we just discussed, POS data is collected in real time and has easily reviewable records for that matter. This allows you to capitalize on quickly moving sales trends and changing circumstances. The feed-through of POS data into your restaurant accounting system enables you to avoid duplicate manual data entry. It keeps your critical operating metrics up to date at all times, and you don't need to wait to understand how you're performing relative to the forecast. Granular sales data from your POS, combined with ingredient cost tracking, positions you to judge the success of your menu. If changes are necessary, you can work with your chef on menu engineering optimizing for popular dishes with controlled ingredient costs and contributed margins. A solid understanding of your cost of goods allows you to manage your restaurant's menu and continued profitability from an educated financial perspective. POS data also allows for objective assessment of employee performance, such as revenue per server, i.e. server ROI, comps and discount usage, and much more. Managers can use real numbers when coaching staff members, and restaurant operators can increase the financial literacy of their management team. The availability of detailed financial performance data makes it easier to instill a culture of results-oriented responsibility across the business, all the way from managers to hosts. A data-driven sales forecast sets you up to reverse engineer your cost of goods level. By knowing roughly where your sales will come in, you can determine how much you should be spending on ingredients and inventory. That, in turn, allows you to predict your profit on those sales, taking into account labor and overhead. Sales forecasts are thus an essential tool for maintaining desired profit levels. Similarly, your sales projections provide a guide to scheduling shifts for your team. When you know how many customers you expect to serve in a given period, you can optimally allocate labor to avoid understaffing or overstaffing. Without sales forecasts, staffing becomes pure guesswork. The wealth of data that a POS provides operators represents an opportunity to make operational decisions based on hard numbers. You're empowered as an operator to make a close inspection of sales trends, such as quantifying and understanding your best-selling dishes. POS data can lead to many interesting and profitable avenues of investigation like the following questions. 
What traits do best-selling dishes share that drive sales? Can you create more menu items that have these similar traits? How successful have your specials and discounts really been? Do you see specific promotional channels working better than others? How about your table turnover? Do some servers have consistently faster turns? Does revenue per server vary significantly? Can you teach your slowest servers to match your fastest servers? These are all great questions that come from that POS data. Now that you've seen the power and potential of that POS data, you're probably wondering how to harness it with software. The best solution is an all-in-one software suite that integrates POS data, accounting, payroll, cash management, and operational metrics, thereby eliminating manual data entry and giving you a single point of access for all your restaurant's data. Razzie's comprehensive restaurant software is the choice of thousands of restaurants across the country. When you sign up with Razzie, a dedicated team will successfully onboard your management team, configure the software to match your operational flows, and coach you on how to use the software to set and meet financial goals. You can always reach out to Razzie to see a free demo of our entire restaurant suite. As always, thank you so much for watching this episode of The Tip Share. We'll see you next week.